His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater. Oh, back to reality. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dory Dave. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some off-meta attacking strats for bank so meta stands for most effective tactic available and usually the default or standard strats would be meta strats and ha having off meta strat would be an alternative and an ace up your sleeve so it's important to have an ace up your sleeve because those are what give you the easy wins and catch your enemy team off guard so for the first objective we're going to be attacking will be teller's office and archives you should have majority team spawn parking front and let's get to this so for the operator recommendations we're gonna to need to breach only one wall so for me personally I like thermite for walls but you can take Abana because she does have enough for one wall so we have thermite and then we're gonna be taking glass the glass is just real great being able to see through smokes make it makes them a powerhouse break it into objective so those are the two operators that we really need now let's go over to kind of the attacking team layout so we're gonna need two flank watch operators so that's either a really good gun or really good at long range and just being able to hold down the area. So Jackal, really good gun. Doki with her DMR, she can sit back and just hold angles. Blackbeard, obvious with his face shield. Twitch, great gun. So those are some just good flank watch operators. And now for like someone you can have entry fag or like a shield to plant the bomb so you can have ash or something or ying to entry frag. So we just mainly need thermite glass. I'm gonna be taking buck for destruction and let's get into the walkthrough. Okay, so for our team composition, just to have something concrete, we'll be taking thermite glass, blackbeard, jackal, and say ash. So you can actually repel up here and get some nice angles. Like I said earlier, we're gonna have our whole team spawn parking front. So right here you can get an angle into the ejector door right there, maybe catch some people second floor. You can shoot default lobby cam right there or you can shoot over here from the side so right now I'm gonna take the role of the flank watch so if you go one to the third window you can see it there it is right there so you can see it so right here this is probably where you would have your black beard just head glitching with the DMR like rear DMR just watching second floor this will be his role to watch second floor and then the second flank watch person would be watching first floor so that'll be Jackal coming through here always make sure to watch out for run outs out of garage take out the cam so with this with Jackal's shotgun he'll be able to open up the elevator hallway wall so right here this wall opens up pretty easy and he can also if uh Blackbeard wants him to open up the second floor, but I probably, I probably wouldn't just because that'd be more angles to watch. So right here, we watch elevator hall, and w the plan we're going for is to breach that wall and plant there. So a lot of teams like to breach that wall with thermite, then breach this wall. But personally, it's actually it's pretty good because planting right here is a good plant, but that just adds more ways for the defending team to flank you. There's a hatch right here that they can flank from the second floor unless he's watching it and you make that hole up there. They can flank from below or from above mid stairs and they can flank from open area. So there's plenty of ways for the flank. Having just a solid push from lobby makes things a lot more simple, a lot less flanks and it's easier to hold down. So Jack will be here holding down the only flank from first floor really and then Blackbeard will be covering second floor lobby balcony and it's just a really easy clear in terms of lobby and the little lobby office over there so Thermite, Glass and let's say Ash uh, they'll be pushing through here Thermite's gonna breach the teller wall so there we go so uh, Thermite will be the one planting unless you take a shield but in this case we're taking Ash so Thermite will be planting this uh, printer is bulletproof for the most part. Like if you shoot through here, it's not bulletproof. But this the bottom portion, the thick portion, is bulletproof. So right here, this is going to cover. Now you also have the bomb to cover you as well. So that's where you would be planning, or you can plant at the door. You can destroy that with an explosive. So those are some of your plant options. Now glass will be holding an angle from here. So obviously smoke it out. Uh, most of the time, people should have a rotation hole right there, but usually they don't. 
Usually they just leave this wall soft and intact, so they shouldn't have it that way, but it's rank and people are not that coordinated, so you just take advantage of that. You'll be smoking out whichever they have entrances, so if they have nothing here, just smoke the door and smoke the plant. So smoke like right here and at the door, so they can't see anything and you can see everything, so mainly glass, which you have to watch the door or if they make anything over here. And if they're actually uh, holding down this area, since we don't want to breach this wall, they're actually pretty safe right there. But that's something Ash can take out the barbed wire or whatever. And then Glaz can come swinging around, through the looking through the smoke, and take out anyone there. So Thermite, plans right there. Glaz watching here, the soft wall on the door. And Ash will be pushing through this side watching the door as well so pretty solid push yeah if anything's here bar or destroy it with as charge flashes and then take out anyone chilling there so that's that's it it's really no flanks the only real thing to worry about would be vertical play but to be honest i don't think i've ever seen vertical play from the defensive team onto tellers all right, for our second off-meta attacking strat, we're going to be going for the basement objective, which is CCTV and lockers. And this is going to be similar to the first one, as we're going to be doing a lobby push. So the default meta push would be pushing from the east side, which would be like jewelry front and alley access, clearing that open area and skylight, taking control servers, and planning in CCTV. That is the meta strat. But the off-meta is that we're going to be trying to plant into lockers which is the west side so we're going to be spawning park in front the operators that we need for this objective is going to be habana because we're going to be going through hatches habana's best for hatches now we're going to need some other operators mainly entry fragging operators because we're going to be dropping hatches and it's going to be a quick kind of like a rush so with that ying is great and ash is great i really like those two operators and then since it's going to be kind of rush you might want someone to kind of cover your flank for you so like doki just a doki call will kind of eliminate your worry of roamer so you don't get flanked um you don't really need line but yeah jackal's good someone with smokes and just a good gun just mainly entry fragger so you need habana ying and then ash and just other than that just gunners or right, like i said in the operative recommendations it's gonna be like a rush so we're gonna be pushing through Lobbying is going to be pretty fast. Most of the time, the enemy team is going to be prepared for a CC TV push, which is the east side, and we're pushing for the west side. So you don't really have to worry about too much of the. You don't really have to worry about the anchors, more so of the roamers that they come to flank you, like from above or through archives. So that's why I like Doki. But for this, usually the hatches are going to be reinforced, and you want to take those out. Well, that was pretty buggy. You want to take those out with your Habana charge or Habana pellets at the same time though synchronize the push so you all those only two hatches you need to get this wall down below is most likely gonna be soft so the wall that leads into lockers will be soft because there's just not enough reinforcements to go around there's four or five hatches to reinforce you know there's two mirror ones and then just the other walls two in CCTV so there's but that's what nine walls already that don't go into lockers so yeah that's uh pretty pretty likely that it'll be soft so that would be something that ash would be good for or maybe Sophia. i didn't mention Sophia, but similar roles take out that wall and then you just push down ying will most likely throw a candela down there to push through vault you don't really have to worry about anyone being in an elevator because the elevator hatch will be broken as you can see so people right here won't really be a problem and most likely they'll be over there anyway so it'll be an easy drop into vault ying can take control of this so flash vault or candela vault candela gold and then candela red and ying can just clear that out while this is open it's better to go through this because if you try to vault through the window, there might be a trap or barbed wire in your way. So just plant here. And you guys just have control. So this wall will most likely be soft. So you can just spray them down. It's honestly pretty pretty simple, pretty easy push. Not a lot of people expect it because it's off meta. So you usually have like a defender in garage. Defender in garage and probably like 
one person here in red hall, your mirror, and then probably another person in gold. So that's like three people who are on the east half, and then you might have two roamers, you might have someone playing server, and then person roaming or two people roaming. So yeah, it's really easy push, a little resistance, you'll definitely get an easy win doing that push. That's why I saved it for a second. Pretty simple, but pretty easy W to be honest. So yeah, that's it. Just get the hatches and force your way through here, playing lockers. Definitely off meta. So that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you want more Dirty Dave, please subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.